Paracetamol, also called N-acetylparaminophenol, IPAP, or acetaminophen, is a ubiquitous medication commonly used for analgesia and antipyresis in children. Common brand names include Tylenol and Panadol. It is found in many over-the-counter and prescription products, often in combination with other analgesics. Paracetamol overdose is the most common toxicological emergency and the most common cause of liver transplant and death due to poisoning. Because paracetamol is ubiquitous and patients may not have symptoms at presentation, screening for paracetamol should occur in all overdose cases. Pathophysiology. In overdose situations, excess paracetamol is metabolized via the cytochrome P450 pathway in the liver. This pathway produces a toxic metabolite called n acetylpubenzoquinone imine NAPQ. Glutathione stores in the liver are overwhelmed by the excess NAPQ in an overdose, resulting in hepatocyte damage. NAPQ leads to centrolobular hepatic necrosis. Chronic excessive acetaminophen use can also cause hepatotoxicity, but this occurs in fewer patients compared to acute overdose. Clinical presentation. Acute paracetamol poisoning has four stages of toxicity. Stage 1, 0 to 24 hours. Anorexia, nausea, and vomiting are common. Patients may be asymptomatic or experience mild nausea, vomiting, malaise, and diaphoresis. Stage 2, 24 to 72 hours. GI upset, vomiting, and right upper quadrant abdominal pain is common. Liver function tests such as AST and ALT begin to rise. INR is usually normal but sometimes elevated. Stage 3, 72 to 96 hours. Vomiting, right upper quadrant pain, and symptoms of liver failure occur. This is the stage when clinical hepatitis, hepatic failure, and coagulopathy with prolonged INR are most likely to manifest. Stage 4, beyond 5 days. Resolution of hepatic toxicity or progression to multiple organ failure occurs. Resolution occurs in survivors. Multiple organ failure is sometimes fatal. Diagnosis. A serum acetaminophen level should be obtained in a patient with a suspected overdose. The rumac matthew nomogram is used to plot the acetaminophen level and time since ingestion to determine the risk of hepatotoxicity and need for treatment with N-acetylcysteine. The rumac matthew nomogram is only applicable for single, acute ingestion. Levels above the treatment line indicate the need for N-acetylcysteine therapy. Acetaminophen levels are typically measured at least four hours post-ingestion to assess the risk of hepatotoxicity using the rumac matthew nomogram. Levels below 150 micrograms per milliliter indicate a low risk of liver damage, while higher levels suggest potential toxicity. Acetaminophen concentrations obtained earlier than four hours are not reliable for determining treatment needs and can lead to mismanagement, as they may not reflect peak levels. Therefore, it is crucial to obtain the four-hour level for accurate assessment and treatment decisions. Liver function tests, such as AST and ALT, are useful to assess liver function. If poisoning is confirmed and the time of ingestion is unclear or unknown, clinicians should order liver function tests such as PT, AST, and ALT. Acetaminophen overdose should be considered in all patients, even if an accidental ingestion seems unlikely. This is because acetaminophen is found in many common formulations Ingestion is often not reported, especially in children, and symptoms during the early stages are not always obvious. Management. N-acetylcysteine is the primary antidote for acetaminophen overdose, effective in preventing hepatotoxicity when administered promptly. N-acetylcysteine is a glutathione precursor that prevents or minimizes hepatoxicity by increasing hepatic glutathione stores and detoxifying NAPQ. N-acetylcysteine should be started within eight hours of ingestion for greatest efficacy. N-acetylcysteine can be given orally or intravenously. Treatment with N-acetylcysteine should be given even if the degree of toxicity is uncertain until more definitive information is available.
Intravenous N-acetylcysteine protocol. The intravenous N-acetylcysteine regimen is commonly used in acute settings and involves loading dose. 150 mg per kilogram administered over one hour. Second dose. 50 mg per kilogram given over four hours. Final dose. 100 mg per kilogram infused over 16 hours. This protocol is typically initiated within 8 to 10 hours of acetaminophen ingestion to maximize its efficacy. Studies indicate that this regimen is effective in preventing hepatic injury, with a significant reduction in hepatotoxicity rates when treatment begins early. Oral N-acetylcysteine protocol. Loading dose. 140 mg per kilogram. Maintenance doses. 70 mg per kilogram every 4 hours for a total of 17 doses over 72 hours. This oral protocol is effective but may not be as rapid in onset compared to intravenous administration. In acute overdose, activated charcoal can be given if acetaminophen is likely to still be in the gastrointestinal tract. Patients with fulminant liver failure may require a liver transplant. Question number one. Which of the following is the most common toxicological emergency related to paracetamol, acetaminophen? The correct answer is B. Hepatic failure is the most common toxicological emergency related to paracetamol or acetaminophen. Question number two. In paracetamol overdose, which toxic metabolite is primarily responsible for hepatocyte damage? The correct answer is C. In paracetamol overdose, N-acetylpibenzoquinone, imine, NAPKI, is responsible for hepatocyte damage. Question number three. What is the primary antidote for paracetamol overdose? The correct answer is C. N-acetylcysteine is the primary antidote for paracetamol overdose. Question number four. Which of the following statements about the rumac matthew nomogram is correct? The correct answer is C. The rumac matthew nomogram is only applicable for single, acute ingestion of paracetamol. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.